Hi guys, it's Vanessa. I am here today um, to bring you a haul video. I picked up some few things at the drugstore, but mainly this is a Sephora um, haul. Let me just put my laptop down. Sorry, this is easier for me. Okay, so yeah, like I said, drugstore first. Oh, actually first, I'll show off my manicure that I just got. Pretty, I don't know if you can see because the lighting's kind of harsh. But it's like a very light, um, like lime, you know, green that's in right now, pastel green. And it has like gold veining running through it. It's from Hard Candy. This is an old bottle, so I don't know if you could still get this. But if you can, sorry, at night my camera's junk. But anyways, the name of it is called Glitch. If you can still pick this up, I know they're starting to sell Hard Candy at Walmart, but I don't know what they sell. So I got that done, beautiful. And then on my toes, which I won't show because there's a lot of freaks out there, I have um, this Milani color that I've used before called uh, Feisty Flames, and I love it. It's super hot, super cool. It loves. Okay, so that was my manicure. But things that I bought <laughs> at the drugstore. The first thing I picked up is this Blistex Lip Massage um, Lip Balm thing. And it's supposed to be like... Um, I don't know if you can see, there's like, well, you can't because my camera sucks, but there's ridges in um, this tip. Like, this isn't the actual um, bomb. This is just like, whatever, a tip on it. And it has these like little ridges in it. Maybe if I get closer, you'll be able to see them. You can kind of see it there. So then the product comes up through that hole and then you rub it on your lips. And the idea is that these ridges kind of like sloth your lips off as you use it. I don't find that it works. It's like just a thick formula. Nothing special about this. I would not run out and buy it. I didn't like it too much. But I'm like a chapstick junkie, so every time a new one comes out, I get it. At my Walgreens, they are finally getting rid of the Milani singles. So I picked some up. You had seen this one in my Splurge vs. Steel. This one is Golden Bronze, number 33. And this is what the color looks like. It's really pretty. It's a dupe for tempting. I'll do a quick swatch on my finger right there. It's really nice. They're very pigmented. I said this in my Splurge vs. Steel, but the pan of these pops out really easily and they fit in a MAC palette. So I also like that about them. Um, and it was like on sale for like two bucks, so I picked it up. This one was in Golden Bronze. Um, and then I also picked up number four, Flare. Really pretty. Um, expect to see this in a splurge versus steel soon. Um, I'll do a swatch and you could probably already tell like what kind of family of MAC ones you could start guessing what I'll compare it to. This is what it looks like in the pan. Really nice copper color. Really pretty. And then lastly, I picked up um, Blue Ice. That one is a really nice blue. Another um, MAC dupe that I don't own, but it kind of looks like fresh water, I want to say. It's really pretty. This is what it looks like in the pan. And that was Blue Ice. Um, I only picked up those three because I have the other colors that they were offering, but I love these. If you have a uh, Walgreens, check out if yours are on sale and pick up as many of these as you can because they are a great, 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 great drugstore brand. It's like MAC for the drugstore. Loves it. So then today I got my Sephora um, order last week or the week before Sephora had emailed um, Beauty Insiders and the VIBs and you either got a $15 or $20 off um, your order coupon. So I got $20 off and you had to spend $35 and I thought it was a perfect time to get some Makeup Forever eyeshadows that I had been wanting. So I picked them up and these are the colors that I got. I got number 116 which is a like matte lilac lavender there's the swatch right there and I thought this would be really pretty on the lid of course paired up with the um, infamous uh, 92 is it the purple one which I own so I thought that would look nice with it and yeah then I also got let's see what this one is one second sorry my camera's doing something okay I also picked up number 58 and this one is a raspberry color also matte and it is I know I always talk about up the amp I feel like the last 
video I was talking about a lot, but this is literally like the eyeshadow version of Up the Amp. So pretty. And then lastly, I picked up number 165. And this one is like um, a taupey brown, another color I keep saying a lot, taupe. But it's a really nice taupey brown color. There's the swatch, or the pan, and then there's the swatch. Really pretty, um, all matte, and I like them. They blend really nice, they're super pigmented. It's makeup forever, what can you say? And I was really excited because I thought this was like where the real deal comes in. If you buy three, um, Sephora.com has a deal where you get the $20 empty palette, which I just got dirty, but the $20 empty palette, um, you just put in the code M-U-F-E, um, and you get it for free if you buy three of the eyeshadows. So that is what I did. It's just an empty palette. It holds one, two, three, four, five. It holds ten shadows. Um, and I have four of them, <laughs> including the three that I just bought. So it'll be fun filling these up. So that's that. I'm really excited. I've been wanting this empty palette for a while. And then I also picked up because um, Mila, or Mila Morales on Twitter had mentioned this... Um, I don't even know how to say this. So I'll just show you because I can't speak and I'm not going to butcher that. But she mentioned that. And she mentioned this beauty elixir. And on here it says it's smoothing, glowing complexion. And it says shake before use, close your eyes, and mist onto the face before applying your moisturizer and at any time of the day. It's just kind of like a fix plus kind of thing. It smells really like witch hazily. But I could see where that'd be super refreshing. Like, it smells a lot like a toner. But it's just a beauty elixir, you know. Prep your face, set your makeup, refresh your face throughout the day. And I love those. It was $15 for one ounce. So one fluid ounce of it. So, But um, I haven't used it, so I'll let you guys know if I like it or not. But I did pick that up. Because with the, I had $20 off. This was $20 off. I had another coupon. This came out really cheap altogether. And then I just got samples with it. Um, I got the Ojan Hair Restorative Hair Treatment. I got the YSL Parisian Perfume because I think this smells so freaking good. And I'm not quite ready to commit to a bottle, but I think I am because I just sprayed this once and like half of it's gone, but... Oh, I could smell it all day. It is a great, 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 amazing scent. And then I thought this was kind of fun, but I got this, like, Temp2 temporary tattoos from Temp2, and it's in that star pattern. So maybe I'll do, like, a Kat Von D look with it or something. I just thought it was, like, a cute, cutey uh, extra to get. I didn't get a um, Beauty Insider sample, a deluxe sample, because I'm trying to rack up the points in my bank so I could get a $500 one or 500 point um one so it's been kind of hard though because I'm so tempted like because they always have such great samples but I'm holding I'm committing I'm at like 250 something so pretty much halfway there all right guys that is my haul and that's about it so I hope you guys are doing well talk to you later bye